the Dad Drew Show. Two idiots on tangents. Live Wednesdays at 8, youtube.com slash the Dad and Drew Show. Now we're going to get to the part um, where my day got crushed. Um, this is a sad part. As you can see behind me, I'm a little bit of a Star Wars fan. Just just a little bit. And and today they like official announced what the pricing for the Star Wars Galactic Cruiser is going to be. You selling your house, Jamie, or um I don't know if that's going to be enough. So your car Do you know what the going rate for livers on the black market are? I'm going to look into it. I will look into it. I don't um, know people, but I'll find people that know people. I mean, I mean, I'm not a drinker, so my liver is probably pretty good. Okay. So I mean, I think I got at least I got that going for me, which is nice. Which is nice. Um, okay, so let's go over what it includes, so we can kind of at least figure that out first here. So here's what you're going to get. All right. So I'm going to go here. All right. So your Star Wars Galactic Vacation includes a two-night stay in a cabin or a suite. You get an ongoing immersive interactive entertainment where choices determine your experience. So it's going to be like this whole like – it's not like you're just staying at a hotel. Pick your adventure. Yeah. And this – the pricing kind of makes sense when they announce like, oh, we're going to have a hotel with less than 100 rooms. And I'm like, really? Well, how is Disney going to make a hotel with a lot of like, like 70, 65 rooms? It doesn't make any sense. And it's Star Wars theme. Everybody's going to want to stay there. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, nobody can afford it. Nope. Um, food. Okay. Now they're treating this like a legitimate cruise. So your food and beverages is included other than, now this is a jip, alcohol and specialty beverages. For the price they're charging, the water. you should be able to get as drunk as physically possible. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Um, and one, just one, <laughs> quick service meal at Docking Bay 7 and other select locations at Hollywood Studios. You get one? You get one. One. Nope. Wow. You get admission to Disney's Hollywood Studios for your planetary excursion to to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because you're only going one day. Right. You, you're only going to the park one day. It's not like two days. It's two nights, but you're only going to the park one day. It might not even be a full day, like, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're staying two nights, so you check in, you do some stuff, you sleep over, you go to the park, spend the night, you check out. This is what you're paying for. Mm -hmm. um, but you do get valet parking. Oh, that's I mean, good. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no. I mean, have... you got that. Yeah. That's really good. So the first night of your adventure, you go to the Crown of Corellia Dining Room, which transforms for dinner into an exciting table service supper club with a special musical appearance by a galactic superstar. We don't know who that is, but you're going to get it. Yeah, yeah. And you'll enjoy a special evening with distinctive dining and entertainment as you socialize with passengers and your crew. Okay. Well, that's not bad. The second night, you taste around the galaxy showcase courses inspired by the geography and environments of iconic destination planets throughout the galaxy. Ooh, right? Mm. And I will say, like, the foods that they're showing look pretty cool. Um, I mean, like... Wow. Okay. They went super Star Wars-y with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like you're eating on another, you know, Planetary, planet. Planetary, yeah. Alf. <laughs> I missed... I'm, I'm reading what I'm doing, and Alvin, I'm seeing, I'm talking about Alf in the chat. <laughs> Are they eating cats? What's going on over here? Oh, no. I think they're talking about the uh, special guest who's going to be singing. Oh, is it going to be Alf? I don't know. Um, 
Let's and then in the serving of each course, you get a brief introduction. Um, the meal includes group of appetizers for the table, choice of entree, and especially plated dessert. During your voyage, you won't just meet new and familiar Star Wars characters. You'll interact with them in ways you've only imagined. They need your help. You'll assist them. You'll join them on daring missions. 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 I'm going missions. <laughs> characters you meet one day will lead you to amazing new adventures the next day. So it's like this whole, you're like LARPing. Yeah. Right. Live action role playing. Right, you're right, LARPing. Right. Yeah. For the whole time. Which is cool. Um, ah, Keith Abbott might have seen something. <laughs> um, you can, like, one of the things you'll get to do is that lightsaber training with that awesome oh, lightsaber that's the man. real lightsaber. Now, this is the only place you're going to get to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, there, this is the only place they're going to have that real lightsaber. And you're going to get to do, like, actual training with it, and it's going to interact with that little thing on the wall, and you're going to train with it. Awesome. I'm getting there, Leslie. I'm getting there. Trust me. Um, all right. You get bridge training. So like there's a thing where you're going to be in this, the bridge of the spaceship and then like, um, pirates are going to attack the ship and you're going to have to help them fend off the pirates. And, uh, so it's like this whole awesome adventure. Sounds great. Yeah. How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. Oh, you get to go on a planet excursion to Batu, where you are guaranteed to get on rise of the resistance and smugglers run. Nothing, it doesn't say anything about Olga's Cantina. Doesn't say that you're guaranteed to get in there. And that's I don't understand that, how that's not that, that dude. If you're paying yeah. Teenage Summers knows what's going yeah, on here. Building the suspense. No, but like if you're paying a lot of money, dude. <laughs> Dad's <it's>... got pricing. <laughs> Five galactic credits, yes. No, but it's like dude, everything should be included. Like you should be able to get on Smuggler's Run rise and get in the cantina hands down i should be able to go inside the millennium falcon and finally get into that little thing up in the uh, little, the cockpit yes. and i want to know what's in there I, that that should be included for what they're going to charge me here in a second yep. you can go to the sublight lounge and you can like gamble you can play sabak which is okay. the the game that they play in solo with the cards where he wins the ship um, and I, they better have people dressed up like these aliens, mm -hmm. like in full, like real yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Wars costumes. Yep. I'm Go sorry. Like it better, be like, it better not just be like, it better not just be like a guy with a hat. If it's, if it's like a guy with a hat, um, uh, -uh. Or, or even like, I, I wouldn't even want an animatronic dude. Like, you know what I mean? No. Like, I, I oh no, no, no. I want like. I want like the guys that they make up for the movies walking yep. around. Yep. They have to go through four hours of makeup. Yep. Agreed. Um, do you get to go to actual outer space? I, you should, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. You yeah. should. They'll probably change that eventually. All right. Here are your standard cabin rates. This is like, um, like on the Titanic, the people who were on the bottom of the boat that died first. Yep. You're gonna die this first. is that portion of the boat. Um, two guests per cabin, $1,209 per night. Or $4,809 for the voyage. That's just for two people. $5,000... For two people. So if just Drew and I, not the wives, not the families, wanted to go third class, we have to raise $5,000. So um, I'm going to put the link to the GoFundMe. Yeah, right. Um, because that's probably the only way I'm ever getting to go on this thing. Mm-hmm. Now, if you get three guests per cabin, two adults and one child, it's only $5,299. Oh, so they're going to charge you like 400 bucks for the kid. Four guests, three adults and one child, you're looking at six grand. And keep in mind, this is the lower rated room. 
Yeah, this is the lowest rated room. I only threw that out there, Teenage Summers, just because of the money aspect. And I know my wife would be like, I don't need to go to that thing. Yeah. Um, but there's also know. no way that I would um, ever be able to convince the wife to, to, to let any kind of – just not <laughs> To be like, yeah, me and Drew are going to go. Uh, we're going to do this cool thing. Yeah, no, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. And actually, guys, there's – I have – you won't believe it, but I have actual video of um, me trying to negotiate with Disney to get on the starship. Oh, wait, shit. How is he going to pay for all of this? Me and my buddy Drew are going to eat spiders. You're eating spiders? That is stupid. That, that does not work. I need something more real. I don't have anything else, but spiders will be fine. No, they won't. Spiders will be fine. No, they won't! What, you think you're some kind of Jedi waving your hand around like that? I'm a Tidarian! My tricks don't work on me! Only money! No money! No stock cruiser! No deal! <laughs> Jamie, thank you so much for trying to negotiate, man. Fantastic. I tried. I was I doing my best. That guy from Disney was tough. He really was, dude. He's like flying around, acting all tough. He was tough, dude. You, thanks for putting your neck I out tried. there for us, though, dude. I thought you had him. I thought you had. I him. tried. Like, hey, I was like, "We're gonna eat spiders." Me and my buddy Drew, we're gonna eat the yeah. spiders, and they're we're like, "No, spiders. that's not enough. There's just not enough weight. There's not enough weight." No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't interested in it. He didn't care. No. Uh, no, no, no I tried, so guys. I'm. I tried, Drew. I really did. I was trying. I know you did. I know you did. I mean, I it, the it. amount of work that there was, there was literally minutes of editing that went into that, Leslie. Minutes of editing. Of, it was very tough. Life. It's minutes of his life he'll never get back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I put a lot of work into that, at least seven and a half minutes. Um, it was tough. Uh, but, like, okay, so like, there's a little bit more of the pictures. They've got some more pictures of the food. So this looks like some of the food that you can get at, um, like those look like the chicken nuggets at docking base seven, mm -hmm. but I just love like the bright, colorful foods they did and everything. Well, but it, it looks just, so it, cool. It looks alien. You know what I mean? It looks like alien food. And Nathan, well, thank, thank you, so you Nathan, driving, man. We appreciate it. Hopefully we keep you around and we keep you entertained. We try our best here to be entertaining and do a little something funny and be a little different. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And then like, that's a close up of that, that oh, like shrimp dude, one. That, like, that looks awesome, dude. It looks awesome. Like, I don't know. Did they paint the shrimp blue or is it wrapped in something blue? Like, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm, I, I'm almost thinking they might've like, yeah, like submerged it, submerged it in like food coloring. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know it, but I want to eat it. I do too. Just cause it looks weird. I really, I mean, I mean, look at us. I mean, yeah, we're we're gonna eat a spider. Of course, we're gonna we'd be willing to eat that. I don't care what color you make it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Whatever. Ooh, is that like bacon? that just looks delicious. Whatever that is. I know it looks like bacon. So you got me. Ugh. Looks like bacon. I'm ready to eat that thing. Gimme, gimme. And then that looks like a dessert that comes with a mallet, and like you, it's one of those like oh. um, frozen, yeah, yeah, like like nitrogen frozen ones, and you yep. psh, crack and it. you crack it, and then something comes out of it. Maybe a tarantula. Maybe. A little hairy tarantula with all little hairs all over. His insects and a spider of this size could even take down small lizards small or small rodents. rodents, believe it or not. Like believe mice? Not. Like mice? Like like absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Right, absolutely. Gonna... No, he's not. He's absolutely not absolutely beautiful. beautiful. No, with all the hairs all over. Six hundred subscribers. Hairy tarantulas with hot sauce. I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was like super excited to do it because I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's gonna be crazy. And like, dude, that just looks awesome. Yeah. Ninety percent of the reason it looks awesome is the background they shot the photo on. And they have like that, like nitrogen, like the you know all that like smoke <laughs> stuff going around. on. Yeah. Yeah. Pete can't wait. <laughs> Pete. Pete is, I think Pete's the most excited of anyone I've heard. Yep. He oh, wants it, man. Yeah. Careful. Don't try the challenge when oh. Jub Jub's there because he might. <laughs> Could you imagine you're like going to do your spider thing and Jub Jub comes it. flying off screen? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like For those of you guys who don't know, Jub Jub is not Drew's son. 
Jub Jub is Drew's lizard or son's lizard. Or son's lizard, bearded dragon lizard. Yep. <laughs> He's the face of a brew with Drew and the crew. We realize he that. He is. He really is. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, the Star Cruiser information that literally crushed my world. Um, because aside from a GoFundMe, I don't know if I'm ever, ever, ever going to get on that thing. You know, you could just get a hold of Disney and say, listen, I'm dad got parks. Just let me go in for free. I'll make a great video. About Here's a it. question. I don't know who's going to get on that thing. Mm. Like with the cost that's that, that costs. I mean, I know there's a lot of Star Wars fans that have money. But I have a feeling that you're going to run that group thin pretty quick. So it's going to be celebrities first. Yeah. So it's going to be like celebrities, like uber rich, then like the Star Wars uber fans. And then once they run out of that group... I don't think it's going to be very many repeat. Yeah. Like, it's not something you do twice. True. Yeah, yeah. True. Like, so I'm hoping that maybe they're going to be like, going to have to have a sale one time. <laughs> well, I, I think I think you're right, though. But I, but I think what's going to happen, like, they're going to charge this, like, crazy Uber, you know, expensive amounts for the Uber rich people. They're going to come in, and I think once they get to a certain, you know, you know, gathering the money that they really need to get to be like, okay, we're right here with the money for all the cost of building it. Group on. I'm Dad Cut Parks is a statue <laughs> of me at Legoland. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? But no, I, but I think you're right. I think in a, maybe in a couple of years, Maybe less. Who knows? Maybe people just go in and go, yep, that was one time deal, like you said. And then they're like, all right, nobody else is coming. Maybe we should right. decrease the price a little bit. But Right. I hope so because I want to go. Because know. it's not like they can cut it down. It's only two nights. So it's right. not like they can be like, all right, we'll do a, a half a night. <laughs> like, like, yeah, what do you yeah. go, how do you get less? Can I go for two hours? I just want to see the lightsaber, man. I don't even I care know, about getting on rise or food or anything. How much, like 100 bucks, can I go in and play with the lightsaber? Just for five minutes. For five minutes, it'll yeah. be a hundred bucks. Five minutes. That's all I want. Five minutes. Something. But I'll tell you, but I'll tell you I don't think they're going. Uh, I don't think they're gonna let people film. I don't. I wonder if they're gonna be sticklers about that. I think they're gonna because they're gonna, I, or they're gonna, or they're gonna try to let people film because they're gonna need to create as much buzz about this thing as they can. True, but I, I think their main concern would be like, what if it's not what the public wants it to be? Do right. You know what I mean? If there are people looking going, eh, you know. There are course. a ton of people with a lot of money, but I think you're going to run out of that amount of people that are willing to pay it for that specific item. Yeah, I agree. Yep, I agree. Um, I mean, I technically it comes with a guided tour, um, but only to Hollywood Studios for your day trip. Mm-hmm. Um, the first streamer to vlog it goes viral. You're right. Um, and it's, you know, but mm, that's a lot of money, but you get a, you get a great vacation out of it. You do, but that's, you get a vacation a hefty, and a viral video. A hefty price, man. That was just a portion of the fun of the dad and Drew show live every Wednesday at 8 PM. The full episode is there on your left, a random dad and Drew videos on your right. Maybe go watch that. I don't know. Give it a try. Dad and Drew have a lot of fun on Wednesdays, and we'd love it if you'd join us. See you then.